Okay, so when we're working with solutions, we have lots of different ways that concentrations are expressed. So we just wanted to talk quickly about the different concentration expressions for solutions. One of these is percent solutions. So percent solutions, as all with all percents, are per 100. If you're given a volume to volume concentration, so sometimes that's expressed with a V over a V in parentheses. After. That's telling you that it's a liquid being added to a liquid. And so say we're given that we want a 5% volume to volume solution. We know that 5 mLs out of 100 mLs is our 5%. And so we'll add 5 mLs and bring to volume of 100 mLs to get a 5% volume to volume. Weight to volume is very similar. It's expressed with W over V. So if you're given that you need a 7% weight to volume, you know that you need seven grams out of 100 grams. But if you're doing an aqueous solution, a water solution, water is 100 grams in 100 mils because it's one gram per mil. And so you can just say that this is seven grams in 100 mls if you're dissolving in water. And again, you bring to a final volume of 100 mLs to get a 7% weight to volume solution. Parts is another way that concentration ex is expressed with solutions. It's expressed less often this way in the lab, but we just want to be familiar with it so we understand. Um, we might see 3 to 2 to 1 ethylene to chloroform to isoamyl alcohol and that tells us that we want three parts ethylene plus two parts chloroform and one part isoamyl alcohol. And so you're going to have six parts total. And so sometimes they tell you what the final volume needs to be, but sometimes you just get that you need parts, three to two to one. And so you could add 30 mLs of ethylene, 20 mLs of chloroform, excuse me, and 10 mLs of isoamyl alcohol for a final volume of 60 mLs. And that would give you 3 to 2 to 1. Molarity, we've talked a lot about, but this is just a quick refresher. It's moles per liter. So if you're given a solution concentration of 3 molar, it's 3 moles in 1 liter. This is a kind of different notation. We sometimes call this direct notation. And it's where you're just given an amount and a volume. So if we want to have a concentration of 20 milligrams per mil. That's an amount, 20 milligrams, in a volume, 1 mL. If you only want 1 mL of the solution, you would just add 20 milligrams and bring to a final volume of 1 mL. But if you want 100 mLs, 
you're going to multiply the concentration by the final volume, and then you'll know how much to add. So it's 2,000 milligrams, but 2,000 milligrams is 2 grams. And then you would bring to volume 100 mLs. So that's direct notation. That's just another way that you might be given a concentration that you have to deal with in the lab and solutions.